guys and thank you so much for being a part of the teacher show and thank you for keeping locked in i am excited a thousand subscribers guys let's just talk about that honestly speaking i am eternally grateful to you guys for just being a part of this community and actually trusting us enough to subscribe to the channel because for us that is a vote of confidence it says that you like what's going on on this channel and that you've been either helped or inspired or encouraged by any one of the videos and you've been helped to a point where you actually felt like you wanted to commit to the channel that for me has been a great motivation and i really want to thank you guys every single one of the new subscribers guys thank you so much the old subscribers you started with us from day one and i just want to thank you so much guys for sticking with us and there is going to be more people coming some of them are your friends some of them are your cousins some of them are your sisters so sharing is caring make sure you're sharing and subscribing and sharing the teacher's show word so that more people can come and we can get to grow together so in particular today we are going to be talking about tiny habits worth growing and the thing about tiny habits is that in many cases we do not take notice of these small little things that mean a whole bunch lot i'm not too sure if that's a word but i just made up a word right there there's a kenyan proverb that actually says little by little a little becomes a lot and the honest truth of the matter is that big things are made of small things so there are small daily exercises that you can actually incorporate in your own life that can help you to get a richer fuller and healthier life number one one of the most incredible things that have been so amazing in my life which i consider to be a tiny habit worth growing is keeping a gratitude journal the bible even says enter his gates with thanksgiving and praise that to me says that even god the father wants you to approach him with a heart filled with gratitude so one of the habits that i'm going to encourage you to actually incorporate in your life and to grow is an attitude of gratitude there is so much to be thankful for guys that every single day I try to pick up at least five things that I'm super grateful for in that particular day. Number two is making time to be alone. So listen, that rich awareness of yourself actually allows you and aids you to give a better contribution and a better offering to the world in whatever discipline that you are involved in. So one of the tiny habits that I'm going to encourage you to do is to make time to be alone. Jesus was constantly in the habit of just jumping out of the crowd and going to a place which was lonely just to pray and probably just to think through stuff. The third tiny habit that is worth growing is checking up on people that you love. I cannot count the number of times where I have literally thought about someone wished well for somebody sometimes even prayed for someone and promised myself that i would check on someone but just didn't for what good reason none so i want to encourage you please check up on that person that you love that you haven't checked up on in a long time and i'm going to encourage you to keep growing that tiny habit because it is a beautiful thing to do the fourth tiny habit that I personally love to exercise in my own life is exercising my faith. Now let me let me tell you, let me let me explain to you how this works. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. So what I personally do is that I literally train and exercise my faith muscle. I see something I like something, I want that thing, and I begin to trust God for it, and I start working my faith muscle. And it's not only in things that I want to actually acquire, it's literally in standing in faith and trusting God with somebody for something else. So there's so many different ways in which you can actually exercise your faith. And I want you, I really, really want to invite you to start exercising your faith in the smallest little things possible. Trusting God for 
very small tiny details of your life not only grows your faith but it creates a bond between you and God because ultimately you end up trusting God with the smallest little pieces of your life and that makes a massive difference in your relationship with God another tiny habit worth growing is saving please 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 start saving and what many people don't understand is that it's not in the amount of money that you are actually saving up, but it is in the discipline of saving up itself. I don't know how many times I've told myself that I'm going to start saving when I become a millionaire or I start working full time. But the truth is that saving is just a discipline. And if you don't have it while you're earning little money, you're not going to be consistent when you start earning much. So the idea is to actually start growing that little habit while you only have a little. And you know what they say, those that are faithful in the little will be trusted with much. And another habit that I've literally had to grow is the art of being present. I don't know if you're like me and you've ever been around people who you are conversing with but you can see they're not there they left a long time ago you are alone in that conversation they checked out minutes ago and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it people be present in the conversation there is something about somebody that sits with you that looks you in the eye, that holds your hand, that talks to you and engages you and you know for a fact that they're listening, that they're interested. Those kind of people leave an impression in our lives. They make us feel good, they make us feel appreciated and I want to encourage you to start working that small tiny habit and grow it. And one of the biggest tiny habits that I've actually been practicing for quite some while is the habit of prayer. I love this beautiful definition of prayer that I'm constantly using, especially if you're one of my Facebook friends, which you must follow me on Facebook. I will leave the description below. Go check it out. I think I write pretty decent status updates. You tell me. I love to define prayer as exchanging my weakness for God's strength. So literally every time that you are on your knees, you are exchanging your weakness for God's strength. And if we want to be honest with ourselves, all those people that are incredibly amazing in prayer started by five minutes of prayer. Then they moved to 10. Then they slowly started growing their prayer life. The closer they got to Jesus, the more they wanted more of him. And so you're going to find that if you start prayer as a small habit and you consistently are praying, God is going to begin to start drawing you to himself. And before you know it, what you have always wanted, which is to spend a lot of time just speaking to God, will become a reality purely because you worked and you grew that tiny habit of prayer. And last but not least is something that I like to call the forest behind the trees list. This comes from the notion that there are trees in a forest and trees are what we see with our short sight. But what we do not see is that behind the trees is a huge forest. And sometimes we are distracted by the small few trees that are in front of us and we neglect to actually realize that there is so much more behind the trees. And so the forest behind the trees list for me is just a list that helps me in every situation and in every single context to list down the number of things that I am going to benefit from doing a specific project or a specific thing. Sometimes we know, but when we write stuff down, it helps our minds to actually register the amount of wealth or the amount of benefit that we're actually going to get from something. So sometimes we've articulated it, we've spoken it out, we've said we want to do this, but we have not really sat down and created a mental case of why that thing needs to be done. So you have to sit yourself down and tell yourself this is how much benefit I'm going to get out of it. 
I want to encourage you to also do the very same with a project that you are doing. And let me know how that goes. In Guys, thank you so much for watching the teacher show this week. And as I always say at the end of these videos, create your own life rhythm and dance to your own melody. Whatever that means to you. And talk to me because I want to hear from you. I want you to tell me if there is any tiny habit that you are on a personal level growing that I didn't add on that you want to share with me. Let's share. Sharing is caring, guys. Love you so much. Keep well. God bless you. Bye.